Third season in the NPSL with FC Monmouth, home opener. Um, first time with this squad of guys uh, officially. Um, can you just kind of walk us through what happened today? We used the, some reserves tonight. Uh, obviously, some of our guys were cup tied to another match and they couldn't play for us today. And that kind of hurt us. With that said, and as I said to the guys after the, uh, after the game, thank you. As I, all I said, I mean, they worked until they couldn't work anymore. Those two goals that they got were fortuitous because one was on the counter on the break because we had an opportunity on that. On that one, they were able to catch us. We could catch, catch our backs out, and they were able to get behind us. And then the second one came off of our backs. Uh, the, the kid headed it into the back of one of our, our fullbacks and, and put it in the net. So two goals that I thought were kind of fortuitous for them. And, and to be honest with you, I thought we had our opportunities. And um, with 11 guys, as the guy said, guys are pumped up. There's 11 guys out there, no subs. We were able to stay in the match with one of the best teams, not only in our conference, but probably in the country. And um, there's nothing more really to say other than thank you to them and thank you for the, the effort they put in. And if we play like that, especially when we get our guys back, we'll be fine for the rest of the are there any key performances that you could take away from what you saw tonight going you know, forward? To be honest with you, everyone was a key performer. I mean, I, I could name everyone on on the list, you know, and on the team on the team sheet tonight that was a key performer for us. Um, it wasn't one person that that mailed it in. Everybody gave 110 percent, and and that's all I can ask for right now. Absolutely. What um what are in your plans going forward when we do have the rest of the squad rejoin and for the future fixtures we have coming up? Well, we'll have everybody back on Tuesday, um, and going forward we shouldn't be missing anybody. Hopefully, uh, I say that with crossed fingers, um, but sometimes you never know. But um, when we do get them back and we go forward with our next matches at uh, Electric City in Scranton, I think we'll be okay.